How you doing guys and welcome to another video for Advanced In Car Tech. So today Richard and I have been working on, well I say it Richard and I, Richard has been working on this 2007 Aston Martin Vantage. It's a 4.3 litre V8 and it's a really nice colour. So it's an awesome bit of kit and today we fitted Android Auto and Apple CarPlay but this particular customer is an Android user. Uh, it integrates beautifully with the rest of the car and the amplified sound system. Uh, uses the most fiber optic circuit to give us awesome sound in there because it's amplified with the subwoofer as well. Uh, we've also done a little different uh, to what we've done before and um, bought in the bespoke ashtray, 3D printed ashtray and coated with leather so that you've got a deeper fill for the uh, rotary controller for the Aston Martin or for the Apple CarPlay Android Auto. So uh, jump on in and we'll show you what we've done. Oh, most importantly, we've also fitted an HD screen. So the screen in this particular model, because the car's 15 years old, the screen resolution is really quite poor. Um, so as part of the upgrade, uh, a significant part of the upgrade is the HD screen where the whole screen comes out, you'll see it in the video, and a new one goes in with the HDMI lead that then connects to the interface. So jump on in and we'll show you it all working. Okay, right, sat in the car, the last couple of videos we've done of the Aston Martin, um, the dashboard or the cockpit area looks very much the same, um, but this one is, uh, a, well, it's a much smaller car, so in terms of rear cabin space, we haven't got any back seats, and the armrest area, um, it just involves a couple of drinks holders. So what we've done with this is because we haven't got the forward um, cubby hole, this particular car, you can open up the ashtray, uh, picture will be above now, and show you where Richard's put the 3D printed uh, replacement ashtray cubby hole. In there, you've got the single USB um, for wired connection as well, the rotary controller, and you've got the kill switch for the audio. Um, because the car's got fiber optic connectivity in here for the audio and data side, you need to switch between normal radio, CD and FM to the um, CarPlay. And then you've also got the momentary switch. And that momentary switch just basically switches between sources um, from VGA screen back to HDMI for the Apple CarPlay. So what I'll do is I'll just put the key in and switch it on. The um, system will then boot up. You've got the uh, factory screen that pops up on the dashboard here. Um, you know, when you, when you sit in these cars and you think, wow, the technology behind this is quite dated. Well, of course it is, it's 2007, but the refinement in terms of the quality of the hand-built build is why you buy a car like this, uh, certainly not for tech. And I know I've said this before, but, so we've got um, FM and AM and CD player in here. Some of them were CD changes as well. Um, and then we've done the Apple CarPlay. So up on the screen here, this is the new HD screen. So I'm just gonna press enter um, on the screen. And there you go. Look at that modern screen there, super duper navigation arrow <laughs> that tells us that we're ever gonna go forward. So what I'll do is uh, let's just go out of that. So back, um, so you've got your main menu. Um, what you can do now is flick the uh, switch here, which is the momentary button. If I push that over here, that will then give me my Apple CarPlay. And then of course, they've got the rotary controller. The rotary controller is just going to allow me to uh, scroll back through all of my CarPlay functions. Now, there's no point me boring you to death with all of the functions of Apple CarPlay um, because uh, Apple CarPlay is Apple CarPlay but this particular customer is gonna be using Android Auto, but I don't have an Android phone, I've got Apple. Um, so it's another Apple video. Uh, wireless, no problem. Wired, no problem. And then we've got the audio side of it. So, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, new HD screen, 
in conjunction with the awesome amplified sound system in here and you've got a, a whopping retrofit that's going to bring this vehicle into the 21st century in terms of tech. Um, you've got your music streaming, you've got your navigation and you've got everything you need to be able to enjoy the car even more. So if you've got a car like this and you want it worked on expertly down here in Dorset, uh, then you're coming to the right place. Uh, don't forget to get in contact with us. Don't forget to follow us on the socials. And the website is www.advanced-incar.co.uk. And as usual, thanks for watching.